Hey everybody, we're Diamond Sue Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Life Lessons with Lewis video. Evil son gets rid of stepdad. Mm. Dang, something has to happen for him to want to get rid of him. But let's get into the video, guys. Want to replace my dad? <laughs> Hey Adam, can you pause your game for a minute, please? I want to introduce you to someone. Someone very special. Adam, this is David, mom's new boyfriend. Hey, it's nice to meet you, Adam. My name is David. Look how he's looking. Adam, do not be rude. You say hello at this instant. Uh, no, no, it's okay. He's uh, in the middle of a game. I wouldn't want someone bothering me while I'm in the middle of the game. Isn't that right, champ? No, that's rude of him. Adam, I want you to be nice to him because mommy's going to be dating him from now on and you're going to be seeing him. Why is she saying mommy like he's a little boy? You know, like she's speaking to him like he's a little boy. You know what I'm saying? That boy is a teenage boy. I'll be like, get up right now and use your manners. I'm around a lot more. I'll give you guys a minute to get to know one another. So, uh, what are you playing, Pac-Man? <laughs> Pac-Man? Isn't that from like the 1800s? Yeah, I'm only joking. That's uh, Fortnite, right? You know, I used to be really addicted to this game. Do you mind if I join you? Actually, I do mind. David, right? Yes. You seem like a nice guy, but don't expect me to be your friend. My mom's only dating you because you're rich. That's all. Well, what makes you think I'm rich? Your watch. He just put he just put all it all on the table. Shoot, his mom must be a gold digger or something. I know a Rolex when I see one. Well, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not rich. <laughs> That's even worse. You're poor. <laughs> well, I'm not poor neither. Um, if you want to know the truth, this watch was actually a gift from my late father. He gave it to me right before he passed away. He got it from his father. Boo-hoo. Sad story. My dad died too and you don't see- He- uh-uh. He got a cold heart, bro. That's not what you say to somebody when they tell you that they dad died. Me crying about it. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I heard about that. And I'm really sorry to hear that. I know it must be tough on you seeing as you're very young. <laughs> Young? I'm the man of this household, so don't think for a second that you're gonna come in the man of the household. Me. Adam, I'm not here to replace you. No if I'm being honest with you, your mom and I have actually been dating for a while. She just wanted to wait a bit before she introduced me to you. I give it one more month before she's done with you. Well, if you ever want to talk, talk about anything at all, I'm here for you. You guys have a good talk? I don't think he's ready to talk just yet. He wasn't being rude, was he? I'll march right in there and straighten no, him no, out. No, 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 not at all. He was being nice. We had a good talk. You didn't even know how to get him to say his manners and be respectful. How you gonna walk in there and straighten him out? What you gonna do? Say, baby, you know you need to stop speaking like rude. You know you need to respect, uh, you know, strangers. You ready to go? Yeah, you wanna take my car? Is my car going to be fine here in the garage? Yeah, we have a security guard. Your car will be fine. All right, let's go. I don't All want right. to be late. Yeah. Oh, thank you. He left her keys? Or is that his key? His key. He left the key. Oh, he about to bash his car. Wanna 
replace my dad. Pac-Man? Wow. No, 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 no. I asked you before we left if it was okay for me to park my car there. Yeah, I've never ran into this issue before, David. So my car is just randomly targeted. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. We're going to have to ask security. He didn't realize that he left his keys at home, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at her house. Shoot. If they saw anything. Adam, you don't know anything about this, do you? Nope, but that really sucks. The car looks new. Look, that's where he messed up. Why would you say something about how the car look if you ain't never seen his car? You know, so now they know he gonna know that it was him that did it. I didn't know what my car looked like. Lucky guess. He did. Adam continued to harass and make David's life as hard as humanly possible. Whether he was spiking David's drinks or faking being sick to keep his mom from going out. You see, Adam lost his father and couldn't accept the idea of his mom dating someone new. He didn't know a thing about David, but he didn't care. All he knew was he was hurting inside and lashed out at any guy that his mom would try bringing home. It stayed that way for months and months wow. until one day. Wow. Oh, there's another one. What happened on this particular day? Hey, Adam, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm in the middle of a game. This is important to me. David is visiting his father's gravesite today. It's his 10 year anniversary since his passing. I thought it might be a good idea for us to go with him and show some support. Also, I wanted to let you know that David and I have gotten really close over the past year and we have a lot in common. I love David and he makes mommy happy. So yesterday, he proposed to me. And I said yes. Hello? Are you hearing me? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? <sighs> well, not, okay, now he being petty. You know what? I've had enough. I am sick of this. I'm sick of your disrespect in this household. You've grown up to be such a little jerk. David and I are getting married, whether you like it or not. So you better get used to it. Now grab your things, you're coming with us. Hey buddy, we're gonna go over there for about 30 minutes. Do you wanna come with us or do you wanna wait in the car? I mean, I'll wait in the car. Hey dad, it's me. I uh, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. It's jokes. It's been a while since we last spoke. A lot of things have happened. I met someone, she makes me happy. And uh, we're getting married. You would love her dad. She's gorgeous, she's funny. She's a lot smarter than me, which uh, doesn't say a whole lot. She has a son too. He's an amazing kid. He reminds me a lot of myself when I was younger. Well, I'll keep so this- Can he hear what he's saying about him? Short, because I know you're partying it up up there in heaven. But um, I just want to let you know that there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about you. And it hurts, Dad. It hurts so bad. I sometimes wish you were here to see all the accomplishments that I was able to achieve. Anyways, I'm getting married in August and I want you to be there, even if it's only in spirit. So mark your calendars, all right, Dad? I want you to be there, even if it's just to give us our blessings. I promised him to be an amazing father to Adam. Aww. Always. I love you, Dad.
Hey, David. What's up? I just, I want to say I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you lately. I thought I hated you, but I don't. And I just, I miss my dad. I haven't been the same since he died. And I thought I could think, take things out on you, but Aww. it made me feel worse. You seem like a really great guy, and I can tell you make my mom happy. And I know you guys are getting married soon, so I just wanted to be the first one to welcome you into the family. Oh, that's so sweet. Have you ever heard the expression that hurt people hurt people? Well, it's true. Some of the most angriest people are some of the most sensitive people. If you ever stared at somebody and they get mad and they say, what are you staring at? Well, those people are some of the most sensitive people you'll come across. You see, they're so sensitive and vulnerable and hurting inside that they feel threatened by you just looking at them because they feel as though you can see inside them and they feel that they have to protect that so they get aggressive or they get violent. Well, see, young Adam was just an example of that. He's a young boy who hadn't fully coped or dealt with the fact that his father died or passed away. Yeah. So he would lash out at other people. Unfortunately, there's young people like Adam who grow up who never learn how to cope with their emotions and then they end up lashing out as adults and they become very violent human beings. So if you can take anything from this, it's learn to be patient with those who are hurting inside because they need love the most. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.